I've got a little tip for you guys. If you're ever working on a painting and it just doesn't look quite right, um, there's lots of things you can do to actually sit there and, and check whether you've got all the proportions right. But I'm going to show you a couple of nifty little um, tricks that you can use on your phone um, with different apps that actually make the process a whole lot easier. Okay, so I'm working on this painting at the moment and I just feel like in the face something's not quite right. So what I usually do traditionally is I'd sit there and I'd look at the angles and the proportions, but nowadays there's so many other things you can do. So first of all, I stuck the photo next to the painting and I sat there and I analyzed, um, you know, well, what do the angles look like? And I could tell that it was wrong. So that's when I decided to go one step further. And this is where I want to show you one of the apps that I use to actually check all my proportions. I use a range of apps when I'm mucking around with my videos, um, as you can see here, but the one that we're talking about today is actually PicMonkey. Okay, so what I did was I opened up PicMonkey, I went to edit a photo, I picked out the original photo of Julia. Uh, there it is there. Okay, so I put that on there first, then I went to edit, and then I scrolled across to graphics, and then I selected the photo of my painting so I could overlay that over the top. Right, once that's there, I can actually make it bigger or smaller or whatever size I want. Then I'm going to hit that transparent button and I can change the opacity of it so that at one point you could probably see both. And now you can see I'm overlaying my painting over the top of the photo. Then I'm going to play with the transparency again so that I can just get that view of the photo underneath the painting. That way I can see which lines are completely messed up and which lines are not. From this I can see I need to make um, the side of her face needs to angle more. Her nose is a little bit higher and it's a different angle and I need to fix her lips. Her skin tone is pretty well perfect. Then I save it, close everything, I can go back into photos, that will be right there. I can open that up, I can zoom in on it, and now I've got the leisure of actually um, mucking around and fixing that up on my thing. So, as you can see behind me now, what I've then done is I've sat there and I've examined the transparent version over the top of the other one, and I've gone ahead and I've fixed up the lines on my painting. Now what I can do is go back to the original photo and I can start to fill that in and do all that detail again. This is one of those things, typically you want to try and get that right before you start filling in all the tone and doing the delicate, beautiful, careful work. Um, today I, actually, I did actually go through and do beautiful, delicate, careful work on things like the lips. Um, but you know what, if you see something's not quite right and you realise you've got to fix something, don't be lazy and cut corners and decide that will be right, no one will notice. You need to go back and fix that thing, otherwise everyone will notice, especially you, and you will not be happy. Alright, so there's your tip for the day. Um, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments.